Finally, we have a bunch of algebraic rules for matrix multiplication. So in this slide, A, B and C are matrices with dimension in such a way that the products discussed below actually are allowed. And alpha is a scalar. If we begin with the commutative law, it probably wouldn't surprise you to know that the commutative law does not hold for matrices. That is, A times B is not necessarily the same as B times A. And that's really because when we do this multiplication, we treat the matrix to the left of multiplication sign and the matrix to the right of it differently. When we do a dot product, we always do it for the rows of the left-hand matrix and for the columns of the right-hand matrix. So there is really no reason why these two should be equal. Actually, the product A times B and B times A need not even be of the same dimensions. Remember this example where we did A as a 3 by 5 and B as a 5 by 3. When we did A times B, we came up with the matrix which was 3 by 3, while when we did B times A, we came up with the matrix which was 5 by 5. And obviously these two matrices cannot be the same as they don't have the same dimension. So B times A can not be the same as A times B. For example, here A and B are both 3 by 3. So both A times B and B times A are allowed. And the product is 3 by 3 in both cases. If I do A times B, I get this. One, if I do B times A, I get this and they're not the same. The commutative law doesn't hold for matrix multiplication. However, the associative law does hold for multiplication. If I want to multiply three matrices A, B and C and the dimensions are such that the multiplications are allowed, then it makes no difference in which order I do it. Also, matrix multiplication is distributive over matrix addition and it's distributive on both sides of the matrix. The associative law holds for the combination of scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication. So if I want to do a scalar times a matrix times a matrix, it makes no difference what I do first. And we have this really important result that if you take any matrix A and multiply it by the identity matrix, remember that was the diagonal matrix which had 1 on the diagonal, you'll get back your matrix A. And that's true also if you pre-multiply a matrix by I, then you get back A. So we say that the identity matrix plays the same role in matrix algebra as the number 1 does in algebra with the real numbers.